These Grant Stone Chuckas take everything that Clark's does well, everything that people love about Clark's, and upgrades it, improves it, and, and makes it better in every conceivable way for a really surprising price. Grant Stone just released these boots right in the middle of the Chucka Boot series, and a lot of people have been raving about them and talking about them and asking me to get them in this series. So I reached out to Wyatt, the owner of Grant Stone, and begged him to let me add them to this series. And despite him being out of the country, not having any service, and being busy with whatever leather he's tracking down, we got the deal done. So huge thanks to Wyatt and Grant Stone for sponsoring this video and overnighting these to me and pulling a lot of strings to get this video done. So let's quickly go over the boot information and get right into the cutting footage because I already cut these in half and we're re-recording this video because I, I wanted to try something a little bit different after seeing how impressive these boots are and show in a clear and concise way how good these boots are in five minutes or less and maybe more. So let's start the clock and go over the shoe information. So the brand is Grant Stone, the style is a Chukka. The color I have is the Crimson Chrome XL by Horween, but there's two other color options. They weigh just over two pounds and they retail for just under $300 up to $328 for the Chrome XL versions and they're made in China. Now let's go right into the cutting and see what's inside of these. All right, now that we've retroactively got them cut in half, let's see what's inside. All right, now we got them cut in half. Let's go through the layers of this, starting with the outsole, working our way up. So this is a crepe rubber outsole, just like the Clarks, but unlike the Clarks, this is a single layer, except for the heel, obviously. So you don't have that, that delamination potential, and you still get that comfort and squish that a lot of people love in Clarks. Then moving up, we've got that leather midsole, and leather's nice because when it comes time to resole these, it's not gonna fall apart like a fiber board or a cellulose board like in the Clarks. Any cobbler will be able to do it for really cheap and really fast, or you can even do it at home if you're pretty handy. Then moving up, we've got that cavity created by the Goodyear welt that's filled with cork. And a lot of people like cork because it gives you a little bit more squish and it also conforms to the shape of your foot, like in this shot from the old Iron Rangers video. And that brings us to the construction. Goodyear welted on the Grant Stones and stitched down on the Clarks. The, to me, there's not a huge difference between these two. A lot of people just like the Goodyear welted more because it has that slim silhouette that's, that looks like it's tucked underneath because of the welt. And you have the extra durability of if you ever kick through this welt, you just replace the welt rather than ruining the entire upper. Grant Stones, it finally has a shank. That's the biggest issue I've always had with Clarks is there's no shank in there so you don't get any support. Once they're broken in, the whole boot collapses and you get that high pressure point at the heel. But the Grant Stones have a shank. Then moving up, we got another leather layer. This is the lasting board, which was another complaint of mine of Clarks. I, I like the leather because it doesn't smell as bad. It wears into the shape of your foot and it just is a more premium material that's gonna last a lot longer. Then moving up to the counter, you've got a full grain leather counter in the Grant Stones, which we really only see in $500 boots. And the Clarks have a leather board counter, still not horrible. That's what, kind of what you see in the, the Red Wing range of boots. So the fact that the Grant Stones have a full grain leather counter is pretty impressive. Then you've got that leather lining on the inside. I, I kind of like not having a lining, but if it's a dressier boot, I get why there's a, a lining in here. And then to the leather upper, like I said, Chrome XL is one of my top three favorite leathers. It's a it's an American tanned leather and I really like the smell of it, I like the look of it, I like how it wears in. And one final thing that I don't really talk about much is the presentation of these boots. When you get this box, you feel like you're opening a $500 pair of shoes because you've got your duster bags, you've got like a cleaning cloth, it even comes with extra laces and a shoehorn. It's just, a, when you open it up, it feels like you're, you bought a premium pair of shoes. So that was a lot of enthusiastic hype around these shoes, but what's, what's, what's wrong with these shoes and what are the negatives? Well, first of all, it's twice the price of the Clarks, so if you're just looking for a kick around shoe, 
they are twice the price. And because there's so much leather in these shoes and they're so much more heavily built, it's gonna take a lot longer to break them in. They're not gonna be quite as comfortable right off the bat like the Clarks are. And it's not quite as simple of a design. You've got a lot more layers. And part of what makes these Clarks special is how simple they are. The last thing is that some people will care about this. They're made in China. Uh, be because there's that stigma of cheap stuff coming from China, but Grant Stone is really bucking that trend. If someone handed me this shoe or even this cross section, I would assume this was a four or $500 shoe. That's part of what makes Grant Stone so unique and why you get such a great value because these are made in a factory where people make a decent wage. It's the same factory that Wyatt cut his teeth in this industry and learned about the industry and managed that factory for a time. And Wyatt really is the X factor in this, this company because he is, a man obsessed, he's on a one man mission to make his ultimate shoes or boots or whatever it happens to be by traveling around the world and collecting leathers from different tanneries for specific pur purposes, for specific boots. And a lot of large companies just don't do that. You know, a lot of large companies are just chasing margins where Grant Stone is chasing perfection. So to me, these really are the Clark's killers. If you like Clark's, you're gonna absolutely love these because they just do everything better. They look better, they feel better, they're higher quality materials. They just kill it. So if you disagree with me, prove me wrong in the comment section. If you think there's a better shoe out there that does it better for a better price or around the same price, let me know in the comment section. But I think we probably snuck it in at five minutes. I guess we'll find out. But thank you guys so much for everything you do. Thanks again to Grant Stone. Check him out via the link in my description. See ya.